Casey Jones Express, now arriving on track 11. Roger Awesome was just 26 years old when he first rolled into our lives, but it wasn't long until he was everyone's old buddy. Are you all set for a good lunch? A lunchtime institution for a generation of Twin Cities kids. Oh, wow, look at the size of this dog, kid. Though Roger Awesome seemed born to be Casey Jones, he got his start as a radio announcer in Detroit Lakes, a craft he learned at McAllister College, where he counted among his closest friends, John Gallus, the future Clancy the Cop on WCCO, and Walter Mondale the future vice president of the United States. We used to sit in my uh, dorm room all night telling stories and we'd record programs and listen to the programs and then re-record them and I think he was ready before television was ready. After a brief off-air stint at Channel 4, he moved up the dial to the brand new Channel 11 in 1953. A year later, he came up with the idea for Casey Jones, reasoning kids like to wave at engineers. There were very few children's shows on it in, in those early days, but there had been cowboys and there had been clowns, but there had never been a, a railroad engineer. His first sidekick was Joe the Cook, played by another McAllister buddy, Chris Wiedis. Hi, Roundhouse! But it was Awesome's partnership with Lynn Dwyer, playing Roundhouse Rodney, Got that set the standard for creativity on Twin Cities TV. I did it! I turned everything upside down! Yeah. Those were the experimental days, those early days of television, you know, where there were no books, there were no courses <laughs> on how you do television. You, you just did it. At their peak, Casey and Roundhouse were on Channel 11 three hours a day. The top-rated Lunch with Casey, a morning show. Wake up with Casey and run out at another hour after school. Talking in my winter underwear. He had this kindness and this appeal and this warmth and uh, the kids bought it up like that. Now, let's drink our you right now. In the end, it was a ban on commercials by kids TV hosts that derailed Casey after 19 years on the air. Yeah, you. I was really lost there for a while. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Awesome went in and out of the restaurant business, attempted a comeback on Channel 29, then in 1986, settled back into radio. KLKS, Breezy Point, Minnesota, serving our Brainerd Lakes area. Leaving the cities for a cabin he built himself on a lake near Brainerd, down a road named in his honor. I've made a lot of good friends, and I've had a, a very interesting life, and I've loved my work all my life, so I'm a lucky man. Hey, here comes the train. Time to say so long, guys. That was Boyd Hooper reporting this Saturday at the Minnesota Transportation Museum in St. Paul is holding a special Casey Jones birthday party. That's when they're celebrating the real Casey Jones birthday. The train engineer was born in the 1800s, but it's a great excuse to reminisce about our Casey Jones as well. Everyone's invited to the party. There will be cupcakes, old photos, and you'll be able to take pictures by the locomotive that was featured on Channel 11 with our Casey. The event runs from 10 a.m until four o'clock on Saturday.